Welcome guys, today, I'm going to teach you on how to make your own vocal chops using three different ways. Keep in mind that the methods I'm gonna show you now would work on any genre, regardless of how they sound. Alright, let's start with the first method. The first method is actually pretty easy. Basically we find a vocal and chop them up manually in the playlist. I've seen many producers do this, so I decided to add this method. I highly recommend you to look out for vocal chops, which sounds like the vowels. Lately, I should turn it off. Once you've picked out the vocal chops, create a catchy sequence using those vocal chops, something like this. Also, make sure to make some of them unique and Adjust a pitch to make some variation. Nice, let's listen to what we've come up with. Don't forget to process your vocal chop. Add effects such as distortion, delay, reverb, etc. for a full sounding loop. If you followed these steps, you would get something like this. For the second method, we would be using plugins such as Fruity Slice X or Fruity Slicer to make vocal chops. This method is overall more efficient because it automatically chops the vocals for you. I'll be using Fruity Slicer now. You can find the plugin in this list here, or go to the vocal you like and right click, and choose open a new Fruity Slicer channel. Nice. Once you have the vocal in the plugin, go to the slicing tool and select half a beat and bring up the attack just a little bit. To avoid the clicky sounds. Next, go to the envelope settings and bring up the hold to 100% and the rest to zero. This would allow us to play the vocal chop as long as we hold the key. Nice, now to make the actual vocal chops, go to the piano roll of the slicer and delete all these notes. Nice, now click over some random keys until you find the vocal chops you like. Make sure to mark your favorite ones like this. Now create a sequence with these chops. I came up with this one right here. The vocal chop sounds kind of bland now, but with proper effects, you can come up with something cool like this. The third method is the easiest out of the other two because, here, we would find an already existing vocal chops and merge them together to make your own loop. I used this method in my previous how to tutorial, but I'll still show you the method cuz why not. Ok, so first we would need two or more vocal chops and place them in the playlist. Now, just cut and merge the vocals until it sounds good. One eternity later. Finally, I came up with this loop here. After adding the effects on the vocal chop, you will get something cool like this. Well, those are the three ways I make my vocal chops. I hope you learned something. If you like this video, make sure to like it as it helps me a lot and subscribe for more awesome videos like this one. Peace.